Huge win for labor unions. The NLRB has sided with employees' best interests in this case involving CMEX, a construction company. Their decision threatens to impose collective bargaining on employers and employees without a secret ballot election. This gives a insurmountable amount of power to those looking to get recognized as a union. This is something that unions, union supporters have wanted for a long time, and this ruling abandons 50 years of precedence and stands to dramatically reshape labor laws when pertaining to unionization. The CMEX case is pertaining to a bargaining unit of around 366 truck drivers and trainers who recently voted against being represented by the International Brotherhood of Teamsters back in 2019. The vote was a no by a close, close margin of 179 no to 166 yes. Generally, when a no vote passes in cases like this, especially when it's by close margins, the union will allege that the employer engaged in coercive or even unlawful acts prior to the election in hopes to skew the results where most people didn't want to vote in favor, which is precisely what happened in this case. If they ruled in favor of the workers, the employer would then have to set aside the election results and all other precedents and bargain with the union based off the precedent that was set in 1969 off the case NLRB versus Giselle Packing Company. This case held that employers may be forced to accept union representations when their actions preclude holding a fair election voting on the matter. In the CMEX case, the board rejected a recommendation that a newer election just be held and instead decided to set what is being called radical, but the framework for determining union certifications without elections being held or where employees had previously rejected ballot elections. To begin, the standard set by the CMEX case flips the long-standing process of seeking an election for unionization directly on its head. Prior to this, if a union presented its employer with signature cards of like a petition basically of the employees wanting to unionize, the employer could just decline to recognize such cards. And if an employer did not recognize the union based off the signature cards, then it was passed to the union to petition to the NLRB to conduct a secret ballot election. Now, under the new CMEX standard, the burden would be on the employer to petition for such a secret ballot election if they were to reject signature cards. This gives a lot more power to those signature cards, that of which had been taken by other presidents before this case. The board suggests a 14-day time limit for employers to be able to do so, and if they do not in that time limit, the NLRB will automatically certify the union based on their signature cards alone and demand that the employer begin collective bargaining. Moreover, if the NLRB decides that the employer has committed unlawful acts, coercive labor practices during whatever would be the election window, the, the board has the discretion in and of itself to reject the election petition and certify the union based only on the signature cards. Practically, the board will recognize unions based off just these cards, better known as a card check, something that was established years and years and years ago but due to other precedents of employers, you know, like petitioning this to the Supreme Court, trying to fight it, it, it had kind of been, it had had the power taken from it, I should say. And in doing so, they're taking out most of the major parts of the uphill battle that bargaining groups face when it comes to getting recognized as a union, facing pressure from all sides of the employer without having the union protection to feel safe. Most people will just stray away from said things. The NLRB, which is all Democrats, Democrats and one lone Republican is now effectively the deciding force and it can certify these groups to be unions off card checks alone with or without the employer's approval, with, with or without their petition. If they see that they're being coercive or in any way breaking the regulatory laws that are are ruled to be okay for them to conduct themselves with leading up to a secret ballot election. This gives major power back to the employees. This removes most of the fear that they would have to have to try to unionize as in most cases, the NLRB will side with the employee rather than the employer. This is a huge first chip away at the capitalistic evil battle at unions and boys, 
we won this time. If you enjoyed this video, we are Social Society. We're a commentary channel influenced by politics, society, and the economy. We also get a touch bit philosophical at times and like to talk about the psychology of things. We're pretty left-leaning on this channel, but we're open to our right-wingers as well. The biggest thing here is having conversations that get everyone to the bottom of the truth. If that sounds like something that could interest you, consider smashing that subscribe button. What are you doing? Leaving us a like, or even commenting on this video, because the only way we become a society is together. Peace.